Years ago, I remember looking at a popular science magazine, and on the cover of the magazine was a whole bunch of people flying like little helicopters. They had little men's hats on and little suitcases, and they were flying to work. It was like, this is the freeway of the future. Well, it hasn't quite happened that way. However, people are developing new kinds of aircraft, and Dr. Brian Seeley is with us right now. He's president of the CAFE Foundation developing new kinds of transportation, I guess on a personal level, is that right? That's right. These will be personal vehicles and piloted by not pilots, but drivers who have a lot of electronic assistance to make it as easy as driving a car. Okay, it sounds great. Really, really, is it possible to do that? I mean, it, Well, yes it know. is, and, and the folks at NASA Langley who are developing this, Ken yeah. Goodrich and, and others, have come up with a uh, so-called naturalistic flight deck, which makes driving the vehicle or flying the vehicle as easy as driving your car virtually. All kinds of sensor and computer technology are there to assist you. Prompts and warnings and even complete takeover of the controls if necessary. So it's going to be very easy to fly the future vehicles and they will have what's called synthetic vision. That means they can see through clouds thanks to satellite navigation. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to fly through any cloud cover and have a total flat screen picture of the buildings, the runway, and everything that you're going to land on. And uh, this is a true breakthrough. This is an enabling technology we haven't had before. Okay, now you've got a sort of, it's a contest going on, right? Yes. I mean, it's an official <laughs> contest to win money to develop these craft. Along the lines of yeah. the X Prize, yeah. the government, Congress, and NASA decided we should have a prize like this to promote the technologies we believe we need. And so, NASA has partnered with the CAFE Foundation to put together this competition. It's a five-part flight competition, and the first annual is going to be held in Santa Rosa this summer. We're very excited about it. Okay. What do you fly? I fly a four-seat Mooney yeah. and a, a two-seat Cessna. Uh, the Mooney's the CAFE Foundation's testbed airplane, and we use that for flight research. Okay. Now, what about, sort of describe to me what kind of craft, it, it look like helicopters, they look like what? Well, we purposely want the competition open to all kinds of different vehicles. I and see. So we've tailored the rules so it accommodates vertical takeoff rotor craft, vertical thrust vehicles, uh -huh. rotable flying car vehicles, uh -huh. sailplane motor glider type vehicles, and then conventional fixed wing vehicles. I, I'll bet there are a, there, there is a great collection of people. I would like to meet all the people who do that because they have to be futurists in a way, right? You have to, have to have a certain kind of mind to think about what you're thinking about. Well, America is blessed in having this great reservoir of innovators that you might call garage bands. They're people in the Experimental Aircraft Association, yeah. which back in the 50s was founded by Paul Poberesny and carried on by his son Tom. This is a wonderful world of people that are making serious aeronautical in innovations in their garage. And some of them are going to be bringing those vehicles to this competition. Okay, now people obviously come from all walks of life. You're an ophthalmologist. That's right. You know, who is also a pilot at the same time. So people are not necessarily full-time engineers or designers or pilots, I assume. That's true. A lot of the people have day jobs who As you point are out, garage mechanic <laughs> type things. Right. And, and yet, uh, it's that passion, that avocational passion that really leads to some remarkable breakthroughs. Fortunately, the people at NASA Langley who developed many of these technologies have now openly handed them to the public. In fact, our CAFE Foundation website now benefits from this extensive library of research that NASA just made, opened up and made available to everyone. Okay. All right. It's fascinating. We would love to see that. I mean, that, I wish you great luck. and. Uh, don't give up your day job, I guess, <laughs> when you say to somebody, right? Uh, Brian Seeley has been our guest. He's an ophthalmologist, but he's also president of the CAFE Foundation. They are looking for new ways of transportation in the air for all of us guys. All right? Thanks, Brian. Thank you.